Where is your child? Huh? In East London. In East London? Yes, sir. You must pray for your child. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. If not, you're going to have problems with this child. Yes, sir. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. Remember the life that you used to live also before? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. It was not a good life. Yes, sir. At all. So God has forgiven you, but we don't want this problem to reach to your child now. Yes. Where is your husband? He's in East London. Huh? He's in East London. We don't want this problem to reach to your child. But I'm praying today, I want God to save you. Yes. Because even in this marriage, I'm seeing a lot of problems. True. You understand? Yes. If you don't pray enough, this can end up being a divorce. I'm telling you. If you don't pray enough, this can end up being a divorce. Because you people, I saw the issues of business also. That's me. Huh? Yes, it's true. I saw you trying to do business. Mm. And this business has been taking you up and down. True. But I'm not seeing anything in your hand. It's true, men of God. You understand? That's true. And I'm hearing you pray and say, God, please open the doors for my business. That's true, men of God. So today, after I pray for you, Holy Spirit will help you. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Yes, sir. Holy Spirit will help you. Expect money now. Amen. Expect money, but your son is your son. Jeremiah. Hmm? Yes. His name is Jeremiah. Yes, sir. Your son in his prayers. Someone will betray you. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. You need to be careful. Because when I'm praying for you like this, I'm also seeing a logistic business. That's what I do also, sir. Huh? That's what I do also. That's what you're doing. I'm also into logistics. I'm seeing well. logistics. Mm. And I don't know, when I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a truck. Yes, sir. I'm into trucks. Give glory to God. <laughs> because that's what I'm seeing now. In fact, when I prayed for you, I saw a white truck. And I'm hearing that this is the business that you're doing. Mm. I've of, been betrayed many times. You've been betrayed many times. Yes, sir. So now you meet an ugly person like me, I'm telling you that people will betray you. Don't worry, this time you won't be betrayed. Amen. I'm saying this time you won't be betrayed. Amen. Jesus name. Jesus mighty name. Blessing you for the business that is coming. In Jesus' mighty name. Leave it, leave it. In Jesus' name. She must fall so that she will remember. Greetings. My name is Pastor Penny. Um, based in East London right now. From KZN. Amen. Um, the man of God prophesied to me about the business of logistics that I have been battling with. He said there is betrayal that he sees. And since 2016, I have been going through a lot of betrayals. Firstly, on also on other commodities as well, as I'm also doing chrome, um, gold, project, infrastructural projects and so forth. But when he mentioned seeing white truck, and then I knew that he was locating my case. And I believe the Lord will see me through on this particular one. He mentioned also an issue about my lifestyle. Before I was born again in 1999, I lived a reckless life. And then he said that he's, he does not want that kind of a pattern to repeat on my only daughter that I have. So I have to pray. So I want to thank the Lord for that one because I know for sure I confirmed the prophecy to be true. I used to live a reckless life. And he mentioned also one of my sons, whose name is Jeremiah, he is really tra uh, struggling with, he's got a, a learning disability of some sort. And uh, now that the Lord has mentioned it here, I, I, I believe that he has taken care of it. It has been a, a, a serious challenge even affecting us as a family. 
um, with regards to how we push him forward to make sure that he achieve he achieves and and reaches the milestones that other children his age would achieve would receive. And the third one was the issue of seeing a divorce. He said that if we do not pray enough, there would be an issue in my family um, with regards that will leave that will lead to to divorce. I confirm that one to be true because I've been having problems in my marriage since 2017. And uh, I have been praying and fasting and trusting the Lord for the wisdom and direction as to what needs to be done. So I thank the Lord. It was, it has, these were the three major uh, prayer points of mine for so long. So I bless the Lord and I confirm every prophetic word spoken in this place to be true. And I trust the Lord that today my life has turned around. I, I have entered my land of promise. To God be all the glory. Amen. Sir, you... Were you working in a shop? I'm working for Spa Notre You're working it's a in a shop of food? It's a warehouse. Spa That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing a shop of food. Uh, no. I've been working in a shop of food. I'm working for the warehouse. You the work where? Department. I'm working for a spa warehouse. What are they selling in spa? It's a warehouse. It's a warehouse? Yes. There's uh, no food there? There is food. Because I don't know, I'm seeing you there, and I'm saying, are you working in a shop of food? He said no. So now, and I'm asking him, where are you? He says spa. In spa, there's no food. So the reason why I'm saying this, God wants to promote you. Amen. And this promotion is coming with a new car. Amen. I receive it. I receive it. Because many times you are saying you want to leave this job yes, it's true. and get a better one. It's true. Are you hearing know me? Yes. Listen, after I pray for you, there are so many doors that God will open. Amen. Are you hearing know me? Amen. Because you, you know, the spirit of the water is still fighting you even now. It's true. In your, in your dreams. Yes, it's true. You see very bad dreams. Yes. Huh? Yes. These are people of another church that I can't mention. Yes. So, but don't worry. You are a child of God. Amen. And after I pray for you, I'm telling you, that's why I said I'm seeing a shop, and this shop they are selling food. And this in spa they sell food. It's like pay and pay. So I'll pray for you. What you are doing now is not suitable for you, it's not good for you. You are a child of God. I'm praying for you, and something good is coming. Amen. In Jesus' name. Bring him. You're free. You'll give us a testimony. Uh, greetings in the name of Jesus. Um, my name is uh, Lao Chai Ngobo. Um, I'm currently working for Spa Northrend. Um, I got a prophecy uh, that um, uh, I'm currently working for a, a shop where there is food, which, which I confirm the prophecy to be true. I'm currently working for a spa warehouse where we deal with food. Um, and the prophecy was true, and I received a prophecy also that I'm going to receive a promotion, which I believe that it, it will happen. Um, and secondly, also, I believe uh, that God has, has done it for me. This is uh, something that I've been praying for even today. Uh, in this service, I have been praying uh, uh, that God may, uh, may give me a, 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 a promotion from where I'm working. And I thank God for this prophecy, and I confirm the prophecy to be true. In Jesus' name, amen. Where is your uncle? His uncle. Huh? He's dead. Huh? He's passed. He passed away? Yeah. So you're left with no uncle? Huh? There's no uncle you have now? Uh, I have these other ones. Yeah? I have these ones. I don't know which I'm talking about. You don't know what? Which one you're talking about? You don't know which one I'm talking about? Yeah. There's someone that was practicing to be a Sangomero home. Are you hearing me? Yeah. So now he tied everyone. Yes. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. You people, you cannot live your lives. Yeah, exactly. Everything that you want to do doesn't amount to anything. Uh, it's true. So now, that's why I'm asking you, 
Yeah. Where is whom who? Let's not discuss it. Yeah. But I'm telling you, God will set you free. Thank you, you know, Jesus. You know exactly what is happening in your family. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I know it. Huh? My name is Norman. I want to thank uh, the most I got, which is self. Uh, I received a prophet today by a prophet Andres. Our family were uh, tightened by a certain spirit, and we were not living our life. We were just suffering from my parents to the whole family. But I want to thank God for his grace. He set us free today and forever. I want to thank this God of Charis in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When you are married, you really need to pray. Are you hearing me? Amen. You really need to pray. It's like it's not long you celebrated your birthday. Yes, last huh? week. On, in December, this December. Last week. Last week. On the eight years. So now I want to pray for you. You have got so many enemies. I'm telling you. That are so much hidden. So allow God to be the center of your salvation. Amen. Anyone who comes to you want to take you to wrong places, never agree with those people. Amen. I'm speaking this, I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Anyone that will come and take you to a wrong place, a wrong place is where people are drinking. Okay. Now you understand now? Yes. Huh? Yes. Because some people were encouraging you to do that for a celebration. As I'm yes, asking you. Yes. But I deny it. So, but you're acting like you're not hearing what I'm saying. I didn't understand. You don't understand. Anyone that will encourage you to go to wrong places, stop that person. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because I saw some people who wanted to take you to those places. If you go there, you will end up losing the touch of God. And you, you know, that's how now Satan will fight you nicely when you are married. Because it's very bad when you've got, you know, when you've got enemies that are hidden, that you can't see. Mm. But God will fight for you. Amen. You know I'm saying on your birthday, it's not long your birthday, and I saw a plan, and thank God you denied. And there's good things that are coming to your marriage. You're blessed. Amen. My name is Manchari Koto. The prophecy that the man of God has given me is so true. I had a lot of challenges financially and in my marriage. I didn't know what was going on until today he prophesied me. The prophecy is so true. And I thank God for this uh, prophecy because it's an eye opener. I thank God. And I believe that God has done it for me. I believe that I am delivered. In Jesus' name, amen.